Okay, well I told you I'd be back, and I've done a lot of thought. I've put a lot of thought into this, and I'm really rather excited about seeing if I can't help you hand letter a one single stroke alphabet. Not a one, but a single stroke hand lettered alphabet is something that you really desire. Uh, go ahead and show them this right here, uh, Johnny. This is a hand lettered single stroke alphabet, and I want to help you paint it. So I've put some thought into it. I think the best thing for me to do is to give you an example. Now this alphabet gains a lot of respect. When you can uh, actually letter this, uh, you gain the respect from other sign painters. And of course, uh, it's the first thing you need to know if you want to continue with the sign industry. Um, now this is only my instruction. I want you to know that. I mean, I know that you've, uh, if you have an interest in hand lettering, I know that you've looked at some books, and I know that you've watched some uh, YouTube videos, and they're all very, very good. They really are. Uh, the men are trying really hard to teach you to do something that we learned years ago. We feel we need to pass it on, um, because it's it was getting lost there for a long time. But enough of that. I plan to teach you a lot about the alphabet. Right now we don't even refer to it as an alphabet. It's simply strokes. Uh, and there's about eight strokes uh, that we will take step by step. Now the most infamous stroke of all is the single stroke, just the leg, just a, a line is what it's called. And the old sign painters will tell you that this is where you need to start and they're not telling you wrong. They're really not. This is where you start. But they will tell you that you need to paint hundreds and thousands of them and it's going to take years and years. Well that's grim and, and uh, kind of gloomy. So I'm going to try to teach you in a lot less time than that. Um, it's fun, it's entertaining, it's relaxing, there's a lot to be said about it. And my best bet is to show you how I would go about making a single stroke line. I have my paint, I have my brush. Now, I want to start you out and all of my shapes in future YouTube clips, uh, all of this will be done with a four inch letter. Now that seems rather big, and I'm sure you've seen people do it with a three or a two inch. But I firmly believe that you need to memorize these shapes, and that smaller size doesn't give you the muscle tone. You don't get the feel for it as a larger letter. It also enables me to give you a really good example of how I'm going to make this single stroke line that everybody's so feared of. All right, I'm, I've got a number eight brush. Now I pray that you've got good brushes. This is a Kafka, and I love this, number eight brush. A four inch letter, number eight brush. Now I'm gonna palette this brush until I have it the right consistency, a little bit of mineral spirits, and little bit here. I want it to have a gorgeous flat edge. I'm looking for an edge. Really bad. I mean, I'll wiggle it and I'll do this and that, but I'm looking for that edge. Alright, I'm going to lay the edge right there. And then I'm going to wiggle it. I'm going to set my width by wiggling it. And then I'm going to come straight down until I come there. Now you're wondering what in the world am I going to do? In fact, you were very, very lucky to get this far with, uh, as a beginner without some difficulty because it, it's a lot of mental, uh, any, anyway. What do we do down here? What the other sign painters haven't explained yet. And it's a sad thing. But when you're holding your brush like this, and you want to finish a letter like this, you're going to have to twist your brush just a little bit. It's not a lot. 
it's just a little bit. But this is a mind and hand control thing. It's like patting your head and rubbing your tummy at the same time. And it takes practice. There's no getting out of it. It takes practice. Don't, uh, don't worry. You, you uh, palette your brush a lot. Uh, but what I would do here and what I do do is I come down. Now I'm twisting my brush to the left. I'm twisting my brush to the left and I come right down there with a little tick there. Okay, that's called snap. That's a little bit extreme, but I want you to see this and then we can refine it later. Okay, then you come down here and you're turning the brush to the right and you go right there. You go to the top of your letter twisting this brush to the top back down here and you twist it to the bottom and there is you a fairly dis decent line it just is we'll do it again we're going to set our width we're going to play with it for a second there it is right there that's what I want then I'm going to come down straight my brush is a little dry, that's okay. Oh, another thing that you've got a misconception about. Now this is known as a single stroke alphabet, but that does not mean, <laughs> it doesn't mean that it takes you a single attempt to do it. You're, it's perfectly reasonable to reshape the letter if you need to to do minor cleanup stuff and there we have our line now I fail to see what's so hard about that line other than you're scared here you're setting your width you're going down you have to be thinking with your head you you lay this hand right here you just you got it like that and you lay it like this and your little pinky like this now your brush is beautiful and it does a lot of work your hand does very little your hand does the least of all it just cradles the brush hand and it slides a little bit it's the laziest part of the whole thing don't expect a whole lot from your hand look for help from your brush and look for help from your head because you have to think this entire thing through. If you can't think it, you can't do it. We're going to do another one. Now I've got a lesson here. The lesson that you're going to have uh, on this YouTube segment is these straight lines because the other sign painters would be very disappointed in me if I let you off the hook. You have to do set your width, come down, nice job, Clean it up a little. All right, catch the top. No, you have to pay your dues and these lines show me whether or not you're committed enough to do this. These lines uh, are most important. Now they really are. You have to get this line before you can get these lines. You have to get this line before you continue. Now, the one nice thing, let me see here. I printed this out this is just three various size stars and this is going to teach you what I'm doing here is just a simple I don't have a pounce uh, bag so I'm just this is a pounce pattern I'm going over it with a little bit of charcoal here okay I got it there and then we'll take the rag and we have just surely that'll work for me now this is an excellent way, well it's very uh, light, but we can do that, we can work with that. Well no, we, actually we can't, we need to make that line. Alright, so we'll do one for sure, and maybe another. Okay, we have a star there. I should probably use a smaller brush, but I'm going to stick with this one. You get it to a... Um, a nice chiseled edge. Look at that beautiful edge there. 
Now that is gorgeous. And you take it like this and you twist that brush right up into that little point. You twist it. You come down with this one. Now you're really going to have to get twisty here. Twist it. Okay, let's go up here. Although you rarely, if ever, go in an upward stroke, but this one is okay. All right, and then you work that brush in that little corner. Come down. Let's go over this way. And you, I'm twisting that brush. Do you see how much that brush is twitched, twisted? And then it goes right into that little flick. And that's what you're looking for. Leave that little flick. That just makes it look hand painted and lovely. Now a five point star is one of the best ways in the world to learn how to twist and maneuver your brush. It's the very best way there is. I have three more laid out here, but they're very hard to see. Let me check again one more time. I don't think we're in that much of a hurry. All right, you have to you have to start twisting that brush from the get go, you know. And there you go to a point. Bring that point down, all the way down to here. Okay, and let's um, get that right there. Look at that. All right, and this star is going to teach you how to. Uh, where is my how to twist that brush continually. I've uh, done a lot of carnival work and stars are just a part of my life. I wish I had a nickel for every star I've painted. And I tell you what, you can really whip them out once you know how to maneuver and twist this brush. So what I'm asking you for on this segment is to practice your straight lines We'll do another straight line. All right. Remember, whoops, that's not nearly, I didn't palette that enough. Uh, I need to really get a chiseled edge, and then it almost does it for you. Chiseled edge. There we go. Set your width. Go straight down, coming to a point right there. All right. Go on this side. Go straight down coming to a point right there. Top off the top along the line. Clean it up if you need to. Go down here. Catch this. And you have a really decent line. Try to make every single line better than the one before it. And that's what you do. Now remember, th this is just um, a makeshift easel, it's just a piece of board leaning up against a chest of uh, some sort of a shelving unit. All right, and I've just covered it with butcher paper. Butcher paper is what I like to practice on. We're going to talk, well that's kind of an ugly star, how did that work out? I have no idea. We're going to leave him. He was born that way. He was. Okay, so, that would be good. Oh, another thing. This is a first time event for you. What I want you to do is get just a little bit friendly with your brush. So, why don't you play with it? All right, see what this brush will do. Here, let's go something like this. Okay, what will that brush do? Can we make little little things like this of course we can boy we like those little uh these little ticks are called snap and let me tell you something you show that to a bona fide sign painter and he'll shake your hand uh w what can your brush do just get a little bit better acquainted with it before you expect it to do these uh circled letters and these curves and all get a little bit better acquainted with your brush practice on your single stroke Make it nice and neat. Practice on your stars because that will teach you how to uh, come to a point and finish off a letter. 
be uh, a little bit excited because we're going to do eight basic shapes in order to make the f entire alphabet. And please, if you like what I'm trying to do here, if, uh, if you find this helpful, well, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to run you clear through every single, every single basic shape and then we'll work on every single letter. Now, maybe not one at a time. We might uh, compress a few of them together, but we're going to work on them. And uh, I can help you with this. I truly can. I appreciate your time, and I hope you have a lovely, lovely evening. Practice.